All right, we're back here in the BIOS 1310 lab today looking at the renal and male reproductive model. We're gonna go through all the structures uh, on this model. So first off, the renal system is mainly the kidneys. So we can see the kidneys right here. Uh, you've got two of them in the body and they sit posteriorly in the body. Now, coming off of the kidneys is the ureter. So the ureter is this long tube that's gonna carry anything that the kidney filters out of the blood down to the bladder. So this is the bladder here, if you zoom on in, we can see the bladder structure. Back up to the kidneys though, we'll talk about a couple things. First off, coming off the abdominal aorta is the renal artery. Renal artery goes into the kidney renal vein, the blue one, renal vein would come off of it going to the inferior vena cava. Now the spot right where the artery in the vein and the ureter kind of enter or leave the kidney is number 23 called the renal hilum. Renal hilum as seen right here if you zoom on in. Renal hilum. On top, the adrenal or suprarenal gland sits on top of the kidney. But let's travel down the ureters to the bladder. One of the main muscles of the bladder is the detrusor muscle. The detrusor muscle makes up the walls of the bladder and will contract to get rid of urine and other fluids out of the bladder. But then there's a muscle indicated by this white triangle called the trigone muscle. It's like a funnel that funnels urine into the urethra. So from the bladder out of the body is the urethra and this is the first part of it. This model is male reproductive because we can see it's got seminal vesicles that aid in secreting uh, alkalytic fluids for uh, keeping sperm alive from the vas deferens right here. So these are actually coming from the testes down here and this would be the end of the urethra. 